Hey, good morning, guys. This is Steve Walbach, your friendly public adjuster. Uh, today I'm going to talk a little bit in this short video on when you have a, a roof patch done, how that devalues the value of the roof as well as the whole house then. Um, and, and that happens all the time. Uh, unfortunately, when you do end up losing a shingle or two, uh, it's a situation where you get the insurance company, they will take a look at things and they're looking at supplying uh, a patch. And when you have the patch done, um, you're, it, it's minimal out of uh, you know, cost to the insurance company to pay for this patch. Uh, unfortunately, more often than not, it will not meet your deductible. So it's like, well, there's no sense for me to file a claim. Now, when you did call the insurance company and you, you, you pursued that for that moment, and then they tell you that, well, if it's only a patch and it's maybe two shingles missing, you know, it's only going to be a certain area that will come into play. Uh, I see here you have a thousand dollar deductible. You know, it's nowhere going to be that for a roofer to go and, and, and put that patch in. Uh, but there's the point. You should not be settling for a patch. The insurance company wants you to do a patch because obviously that's where uh, they, they can say because number one, they're never going to pay out um, or very rarely would they ever pay out when it's that. But now you as the homeowner, remember who's living there, not this guy that, that's from the insurance company. Uh, now you have this one area where brand new shingles and the rest of it is the older ones. And, you know, if a couple have already pulled loose with the the wind blowing them. Don't you think that it's just a matter of time more and more will? And uh, so so obviously that's an indication that your roof is on the tail end of its age there when you get things like that. And, and so now <clears throat> you have a, a situation where you fixed a couple of shingles. So 2% of your roof is now new and 98% is... Uh, on its way out. Best way to put that. Uh, not a good thing. Definitely not a good thing. Uh, as, as far as, you know, people say, well, I'm not looking to sell my house. Well, someday somebody's going to sell that house. Whether you're going to sell it and move into, you know, as your next stage of life into some type of retirement uh, area or the uh, children that are now surviving you folks uh, because you have passed on are going to have to sell it, and that's going to be at a lesser value. And you, you don't want to, I mean, you would like them to be able to maximize whatever they get for the sale, I would think. Uh, so in this case, when you get a public adjuster, what we do is we argue, and uh, our percentage of success is tremendous. It, it's, I, I, I never come out and say it's 100% of the time. Because number one, it is not 100% of the time. But also, you know, when we say something along those lines, then if some fluke happens some way, now, you know, oh, you guys promised me the world. So we never promised the world. But I, what I can promise you is we're going to get a lot more than a patch. Absolutely. No question about it. And if we don't, then we will not, uh, there, there would be no fee from that. <clears throat> it wouldn't cost you a cent. So, uh, guys, with, with, with having the majority of your roof left in such bad condition, doesn't it make sense to try to get as much as you can done when you first are having things? And something else that people don't realize is when you go to insert the new shingles with the shingles around it, do you realize that you start compromising the ones that you've just bent? You know, they've been there forever. They're dried. They're, they're, um, what's the term? I, I can't, but, but they're brittle. And when you move those, they, they break. So now you're inserting a new shingle underneath something. You lift the tab up and put that, and, and you're, you're going to break. Now you got to pull that one out and put a new one in. And now disturbing the surrounding area where that patch was, it's, it's been compromised that much more. It's already old. You know, it's on its way out. Now you've been monkeying around with it. And when I say you, uh, somebody, either you do it yourself or you have a professional come in. And when he inserts those in there, when the roof is really old and not bad a condition, uh, you're, you're only asking for trouble. 
Uh, so, like I say, if you get a public adjuster involved, first of all, we'll come out, we'll take a look at things, see the age of the roof, um, and, and we can advise you from there. But when you do end up um, where there is some significant damage, and maybe there might be three areas where it would be like a patch from one event where you had the wind come and blew off shingles from three different sections, that's telling you that that roof's got to go. And wouldn't it be nice if... If, if not, at least the major cost of replacing that roof would be bared from the insurance company and you only have to pay a little bit. Or best case, which is what we always go for, and as I say, I can't guarantee every single time we get it, but but we, we get a whole new roof for you. That, that's, a, that's a beautiful thing. Or at least get the dollar value for a whole new roof so that your out-of-pocket expense is minimal. This is all when it's preliminary before you've actually had water enter the house and once that starts happening uh, and you get things damaged inside now that the the claim grows you know we, we now have decking that may have to be replaced if that's rotted uh, you have a situation where insulation uh, could have been compromised there if you have a uh, electrical up there some lights uh, perhaps now we have to get an electrician. And once water gets in there, it's a lot. And not to mention your personal belongings, that certain things that maybe can't be replaced, and once they've gotten wet, they're ruined. And, and you can't, you know, they're, they're gone. You know, you, So, guys, uh, this is Steve Walbach, your friendly public adjuster. I am giving you some advice that uh, when you do have... A situation, and if you didn't call us first, you call the insurance company. He comes out and he starts talking about, well, we can do a patch for you. Just stop it right there. Thank you very much. Give us a call. Let us help you. We'll come out and advise what we can do. Because they say when he starts talking about patches right away, uh, it's not going to meet your deductible. And you know he's he's going to end. His conclusion statement is that, you know, we're, we're going to deny the claim there's nothing for us to pay out because it's too small. You know, your deductible would not have been satisfied. But that doesn't mean that you can't get things taken care of if you go about it the right way. And there's where somebody like us, a public adjuster, and I would ask that you would give me an opportunity to represent you against the insurance company and let us do our job. So my contact information is 610-213-8820 or Steve Walbach, W-O-L-B-A-C-H at Ymail, the letter Y, mail.com. And uh, give us a call. Let us come out, take a look at things. We'll look at your policy. Make sure that uh, you have decent coverage of the policy. We can give you some advice. I don't sell insurance. When I look at a policy, I'm not looking at a policy because... I think I have something better than I want to sell you. Um, there, there's something that out there may be better, but you won't get it from me. I'll give you advice of where to go to get it, if, if need be. Or I can tell you, you know what, what you've got is fine. I wouldn't change anything at all. That's fine. Uh, then, you know, you, you stay with that. But at least you've had peace of mind when I come out there to look at things. Guys, this is Steve Walbach, your friendly public adjuster. I hope you learned something today about uh, roofs and, and patch jobs and things like that. And uh, you say, give us a call if you have something going on, or if uh, you, you know you, you think that your roof's getting kind of old. You know, what do we do? And and uh, I, I can advise you from that too. I'm not a roofer. I don't go up on the roofs myself. We have folks that will do that though. Uh, but uh, we can definitely help you and advise you in the right direction. So, Steve Walbach, your friendly public adjuster. I hope you guys have a very nice day, and God bless you.